right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Bactria, in which, well, we've accomplished our major goal, and that is to form the Empire of Bactria. And because of this, um, you know, for the first couple of episodes, um, even though that's before I started posting these videos, as you can see the immediate family right now, um, originally I wanted to call this series the Hispano-Bactrian Empire, but this um, even before the posting in the first episode, I just decided, oh, just call it Bactria. You'll get a lot of attention just by that name alone. And, um, well, we went from the Astor Leonese family, born and raised in Cordoba, Spain, and it went on to become Afghans, hence the reason why, um, they're dressed up like that, and we don't tend to go back to our old culture, back in the old country. No, we're gonna keep, you know, Oh, and by the way, that shirt that he's wearing, that is not a, the clothes fit for the King of Kings, the Shan Shah. Alfonso is his name. He may be wearing that crown, but this is not Imperial Regalia. The reason he's dressed up like that is because he's currently facing an illness, which no doubt he will prevail, since he knows a lot about medicine. This is his heir, which I forgot his name because it's an Afghan name. It's no longer a story in these names. And the wife here is of a French origin, which is married her because she's pretty, and therefore we want to have handsome and pretty children. To go along with the smarts and the strengths too. Great traits, whatnot. And so, we're about to go to Balk, the center of trade back in the olden days of the Silk Road. The capital of the Bactrian Empire, as you look at our flag here, the Empire of Bactria. Doesn't this remind you of something? Like, doesn't the Macedonian sun remind you of something like that? So, ladies and gentlemen, that's enough time for this introduction, as it's 1213 AD, the 28th of July. Beautiful Bactria, crowned with flags. So, it's rather a somewhat stable period, except for a minor civil war. I mean, where the Stogdians are on the offensive, but there's a liberty war going on as well. Uh, which the Stogdian satrap will take care of things here. As I said, currently facing an illness. Which, no doubt, I feel fine. <laughs> a lot of health benefits, because Alfonso went during his time as combat medic. As a way of saying he's he was a court physician, and additionally, he was also a, a soi. So, there you have it. So, he'll know when death will be coming to him, and so he gets a lot of health bonuses and less stress. So it's less likely for him to be stressful. And the cult of fascination progress. And also we may look towards becoming a prophet just for more piety. Which I don't know if circumstances will will be occurring. This is my son in heaven now. Sir Hask Sir Zah Not sure how to pronounce that name. The problem is he's cynical, he's craving, he's vengeful. A bad guy, vindictive atheist. But to me, he's the breadwinner in this family, despite the fact that he's not a smart. Actually, no, he's the breadwinner, but problem is he's craven and chaste. But what we want is a military man to defend Bactria from any threats. And to me, it's gotta be him. He's not as smart as his brothers. But. But he's a fickle, but a nice guy. He's a gracious lack. If not him, then maybe my daughter. Which I wanted to get a education as well. Get a martial education. Not me. Somebody who knows a lot about military. So there you have it. So for now, 
Our current fascination is advanced bow making, which will have crossbowmen, if we wish to. In which we will wait for another couple of years to finally reach the late medieval era. And the first thing we're going to go for is primogeniture. Get that immediately. But thankfully, with high learning skill due to, you know, his past experience as physician and a wise man. And a renowned physician. As well as the patronage from the French spouse of his. So hopefully we'll get primogeniture before he reaches to his um, 70s. That's what I'm predicting. He may not have the fighting skills, which he doesn't need to lead in the battlefield. He'll just be a well learned man. And we're on the defense in the Bactrian realm, which there is a war going on, which we'll have that dealt with. Spot the forces if one to fight, one to besiege, and we'll put an end to them. And we'll continue to spend our riches to make more money. Alright. Hunt them down. You lot. You will also be heading there. One's gonna go into the army, the other's gonna besiege. Well, it should be over in no time, so just remain in the walls. By walls, I mean borders, that's the word you're looking for. you'll become a scholar in the future. And plus, I would love to have a bit more children, but there is a way. A merchant has sent me samples of seeds, plants. She claims they are good for health and mine. I must admit, I have little experience in nurturing plants, but how hard can it be? All I know is, they're in my time as well. They keep saying to me, come with me. small chance of me become a herbalist, or at least be a seeker of knowledge. So I will use these to start a private garden. I grow a less garden. I'm an herbalist now, hey! Renowned physician and a... and an herbalist too. That's for even more disease resistance. Good thing we've got... To use pikemen. Maim the commander. In fact, he's their best commander. Oh boy. But remember, here in this particular Buddhist faith, when there's adultery, that's no problem, it's actually accepted. We're not Catholics anymore. We're never gonna go back to being Catholics. It will... Aldara set a precedent here. Oh. That we must be Buddhists to form a Bactrian Empire. And we'll never go back to the old religion of the old country. Because we choose to live here. And I'm sure one day we will meet with the, um... There was a store Leonese to our south, Huran Makran, which they're Buddhists too. 
which they're intervening in some war. But do not underestimate them. They got a lot of allies, which, in fact, if we can get that fame up, well, I better go get me some concubines very soon. This sounds like a stupid idea, but... It's like, hey, you got any beautiful women in there? <laughs> Trust. They'll be well taken care of. Chuck the sun hostage. That's the air. Yes. You'll begin your siege here. And we'll be over here. There's no serious threat here, so we may want to um, move back to Valk. Oh, for 20 days, he's got to increase that spot there. My lord, uh, much uh, my Raj portal hit the uh, uh, Mezgin. Uh, approaches me with urgency. A local merchant has the copy of the compendious book on a calculation by completion and balancing, but refuses to sell to me. If you make them see the error of his way, I would be in your debt. Huh, this book sounds interesting. Gotta do it for the culture. So, we spend big. Since we Bactrians are a wealthy bunch. And remember, we used the term Bactrian as a nationality rather than ethnicity. As I woke this morning and saw the rays of sunshine falling through my window, it took a moment to realize I slept soundly for the first time in weeks and did not wake up coffee once. Now these are the clothes of the King of Kings. Mm -hmm. Oh, I impregnated her. Well then, I'll start getting me some concubines soon, just to increase the prestige a little bit faster. But winning in wars is also good, because I need to get up to Exalted Among Men, so we can start that subjugation war, so I can grab Makran. It'll be part of the Bactrian Empire, and reunite with the rest of our, um, formerly Estorleonese kin. So you just won. Should be over. Bingo. Pay up. That's 200. Again, 100. Alright. Good deal. Concubines. I can have as many damn children as I want, but they say no target selected. Well then, we got plenty of prison, but... Okay, check the ages. Yuck, no. Those are lovers, Fox, I will not do. Unfortunately, the best candidate is some Buryat girl. Who is vengeful, arbitrary. She would be an interesting spy master, but... Well... She'll be all right. Oh, forced to use a concubine. Oh, she will not like that, but do not worry. She will know love. Yeah, you will understand me, all right? <laughs> now, what reason would that be? Arbitrary, just like stubborn. Oof, same. And that's one. But unfortunately, every, everybody else is a little too old to my liking, and one's got the lover's pox. No.
No, 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 adultery is okay. I was about to say, if I seduce somebody, I mean, wouldn't they give me? Ambassadors accept it. Come on, this is the most liberal form of Buddhism. You're all right. Stop being so. This isn't the grand old days of the Western world. Shut up about it, all right? Ain't nothing bad going to happen to you. No, don't get any ideas. I just had a thought in my mind, but I'm like, no, don't do it. It's not worth your time. Boy, what I would like to see a, um, a breakup of the Byzantine Empire from within, or at least independence war. But unfortunately, Greek culture is everywhere. I ain't gonna go for it. They even expanded their way into central sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, uh, uh. So one concubine's good enough. She just turned 16. And the, like if there's going to be potential concubines um, in the future. Potential concubines, you mean wait for them to grow up. That's what you mean, right? Oh, well, there's her. possible to well just um no 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 let's say uh can't recruit her we'll just wait a couple of years she's under house arrest she ain't gonna die Ugh. Well, there's another child of a con. Oh my goodness, this is what I've been turning to. I'm looking for concubines. Well, there's not much major decisions to do other than strengthen bloodline, which I do have a genius, at least one of them. But I, but I do not have a trait from a beautiful character's group, because that honor would go to him. Now, this is why I want more children. Never gonna embrace celibacy. Or you could ask some other people in somebody's court to be, you know. Except there are some who's already married. I'm just looking at this court for example. No, no, no. You got it. Within the realm, age, regardless of skill. Oh, and, uh, women. He, 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 he. Okay. Starting from 16. Like, who would not only be a concubine, but also a good fighter as well? And not married. That's another thing. Unmarried. Preferably with inheritable traits. Oh, organizer. Oh, no, terrible. Craven. Yeah, look for those with commander traits. Ah, bingo. Um, is there a way to say, hey, would you like to be a concubine? I know you're commanding an army right now, but she won't accept. He just slowly just commanders on the console. Oh, don't even think about it. 
Well, there ain't nothing wrong with adultery, they say, in this religion, so might as well. So there, sir, that's one. Okay. So you got one. Okay, now to get too old from here. Also, the other thing you should be looking for is like female unland unlanded, which there ain't any. Well, then look for it from around the world, all right? Within diplomatic range. Fortunately, options are very limited. So she doesn't hold land, but she holds a title. Odd. And no, you can't invite her. I guess you can only make people concubines if they live in your court, is that correct? Yes, it says in your court. Okay, okay. You have to invite some to court to make it happen. Okay, I get it now. I get it. Who am I seducing? Tehran. She's a marshal, not married. Okay. Just want to seduce her, bring her to court, be my concubine. Because there's a lack of concubines around here. This one's just to convert the faith a bit faster. Because uh, we're doing a bit of conversions around here. Or just wait a few years, then we'll take some more concubines, okay? Just wait a few years. Baker, that lover's box just kind of kills it for me. <laughs> Trouble the Lord's dedication. A Trouble the will soon be performed for the court at um, Abivad. Um, that's where she lives. Over there. Um. Uh, it would be a simple request to have him change the performance to be dedication to Tarana, um, the target of my defection. Yeah, it's against me, because I'm a shy person, although I won't gain as much stress as I used to. It'll be a bold declaration to the lady. Barns and storehouses. That will increase the supply limit. And remember, keep increasing the development. And at the same time, this reduces the building uh, construction time. More development growth. Efficient taxation and whatnot. How dare you embarrass me in public like that? Did you want me to explain what the trial doors words meant to the entire court? Ah, damn it, this is not what I wanted. There's still a very good chance. Hmm. How are you know, expecting the barracks in for me when I'm severely injured? Soldiers brought in, he's losing too much blood. Where is the position? McDougal's is nowhere to be found, a chill runs down my spine. I might be this man's only hope. Some of the eight has stepped out of thin air. My wife 
I'm beneficent on beneficent and Is that my son? The Queen of Queens. She holds up her sleeves and looks at me. Hey. Step back. This is my patient. I've done a lot of training more than you've had pieces of ass. <laughs> my patient screams and dresses even though three grown men weigh him down. Every step of the way is a battle, but my knowledge does not fail me. My hands remain steady. I'm not sure how I managed, but in the end, it seems like the soldier will live. His comrades pat my back, their comrades are thinking, my lord, we would have lost better out of option. What do you think? I've gone to save the life today. Who wants to kill my son and aunt? This game is exposed. You are going to be very valuable to us in future conflicts. And what the hell am I going to do with that strong hook? It's just for out of loyalty, you know? How old are you, son? When you turn 30, I'll get you married. I'm not terribly concerned. As much as I'm more interested in... In six months' time. My sister Aldara died. She was 70. You might be a shot, but you're also a brash knave. The unprovoked anchor expressed by my vassal Catalina comes to this complete surprise. She's been under a lot of stress lead. What to behave like this? That even she struggles. It's calm. She should invest in these as well. My spy master has come to me discovery. She's certain that my vassal satrap Darius, Darius um, is scheming against my son and heir. Let the traitor be known to all. We're not here to put people in prison. Three years, I get to hold of another mystical communion. We need more of them. There goes another one of my sisters. It's Catalina, the steward. Now it's my niece who will be taking charge to improve the development further for Valk. Like we want to be as well developed as all of India. And Valk was once center of trade. So we're just going to make it back to prominence. And yes, have more development than Mer, which was formerly the capital of the, uh, the Grand Amirate. Lucky you. I say lucky you because not only you got claims, Kingdom of Khorasan. Yes, we know where you came from. Guide for the Maharashtra. Whoa, that's a big one. Well, not as big. We know what you mean. The celebration's come to an end and the evening's entertainment seemed to be over when Taran suggests reading. A clerk soon arrives wondering what the guests would like to hear. I see my chance to impress Taran. Well, I don't think she would want to hear religion. Well, let's try this. Let's, uh, I mean, spiritual medicine. Well, I'll try this one because I know a lot about spiritual medicine. As the clerk drones on and on, I can tell Tehran's attention is slipping. And while I'm thinking out of the sandwich situation, matter of the spy master, my vassal, Satrap Tarad, suddenly chimes and asks, I humbly suggest that we lead the Nibid Lugini instead. And Tehran immediately perks up with renewed interest. Why didn't I think of that? Damn it, man. Cynicism makes it easier for him. Oh, 
defense bow making. So in seven years time we will be entering late medieval. For now, urbanization, just to get that going. In fact, it'll take seven years for it to be seven years, all right. This was just for a maximum existing development penalty at 55. Feels like it's an urbanized culture here. Has Sean Shah been up? I'm obliged to attend a local sparring tournament with the contestants. I have a delay. The tournament won't start release not our. My concubine, Adiana, is here. Um, and is always being in several. Not her constant complaints making everyone even more miserable than normal. On the other hand, I just noticed the virtue drama off the cover of spiced wines. Oh, I have an all stress lady. Let's have a drink. And I ain't no drunk. Even though I could have easily gone hunting or a feast if I wanted to. Even though that would be bad for my shyfulness. Tarana's reactions to my advances tells me everything I need to know. Time is kind of putting my plan in action. I think my chances are good. Yet I must remember that Tarana's lead Satrap Tara is always watching. Again, you got the skills, and I would love to have you in my army. She'll be mine. I find my acquaintance, Tarani, weeding eagerly. No sound has ever inspired such lust in me as the words she now whispers in my ear. She grinds against me, her body begging for some kind of release. I know that in this moment, she is mine. Only mine. She seems almost shy when we part. A charming contrast to the passion we just shared. This was too good to be a one-time thing. Now you're my lover. Barely. Come on in. Love to have you as a commander and a, a swa as well. Courtier, lover? Mm -hmm. There you go. Now, would you like to be my concubine? Because there's been a shortage of these lately. Not many choices, but just wait, because one's about to grow up in prison. Uh, when is your birthday coming up? Oh, this coming September. Lucky day, but... She's a bit melancholic, which lowers fertility, which... I don't care. Whatever works. As long as it's not her, because of the... Hmm. Yeah. You will learn to respect me. Forced to serve his concubine. There, I got all three concubines. Now it won't take much as a penalty for this. Tarana's is pregnant. We'll be having more children in the future. So again, the county favor and county convert. Please. Convert. Easy for me to say. Progress faster now for the design icon. Converted to county the time takes converted count is no longer increased that if faith has higher fervor than my faith. And I'll get this. Let me see. I see. Duchy of Chorazm, Bowl of Bogomolist, which we can uh, take the whole duchy at the most, because that is part of Transoxiana, which I thought about creating that kingdom title for myself in addition of Chorazm, because having too many satraps around could be trouble. Well, damn, why didn't we have you in? Plus, you have very little chance at getting rid of my son. I ain't going to accuse him, but you are exposed as an agent. You are exposed as an agent. But how much... 
because uh, I'm going to bring you in anyway. Because I cannot deny your skill. Pretender Rebels. Oh yeah, these Sogdian Catholics are still around. Hindustani, not a hunter. Every time I bring people over, I become more and more shy. You're exposed. Here's another way to get more prestige fast. I gotta start hunting and feasting all the time, despite the fact that I'm shy. Well, I need to get out more. My son uh, went ahead on the group chasing a heart while well, close behind him, standing above a commoner, tugging an arrow out of a poor woman's chest. As soon as he sees it, he hides the arrow behind his back. It was the heart potter, I swear. Oh, soon enough for us to we'll catch up and demand an explanation. Kill the Huntress. Oh dear, oh dear. And I ain't gonna kill my son because kid slaying is still bad no matter what. I'll just say he fought Valiant to save her. I saw it. Everyone believes me. Alright. There's, there's your prestige. Now let's go have a feast. Welcome friends, even though I'm a shy person, so I'm about to get some more stress than I gained some. Another son. Robust, intelligent, but child of a concubine, but hey, I need more children. I say the name. This is my wife we're talking here as the piece is doing laid down. Deep in conversation with her. She inquires about my opinion on blessings of the family. It's like she's just deeply interested in it. Fascinates me as well. My wife is also my friend. There's one plate of food that's Placed by the next, my wife goes on and on about French. That's how we salvage our mess. Are you sure I'm not bothering you? No, no, please do go on. You always gotta take that. It's more learning. I'm sure she'll be a scholar one day. Oh, more. And this one's for more development growth. Farmsteads. Larger farmsteads support peasants. Families, when families have space to grow, they will produce children that can be put into on the fields, as is the natural order of things. And when everyone had their respective homes, I'm proud to say that the feast was a success. I have my wife to thank for much success, and I feel nothing but gratitude since his last guest told me. Ooh, okay, we're halfway there. Don't be afraid to participate in little wars. Even though it's going to cost you a bit if you want to do something like this. I mean, taking up Corazum would be good. Having more children would be just fine. Yes, son, you done killed me. Killed somebody. Which means I could blackmail you. Which is an offer that you cannot refuse. So I got a strong hook on you. And what am I going to do with that hook? Who knows? I'll probably ask you to join a holy order and disinherit you because... Look. You got all the, the good stuff, but... That craven is going to be the end of me. Be the end of you. Stress one.
Are you sure no one's gonna have that? What tyranny? Really, you're allied with one of my vassals. We fought once. But taking out these booger molests will, will do us some good when we take this duchy. Because it's part of our empire. I can lawfully imprison him. No criminal for scheming against me. Against me? Me? Not my son? Yeah, your secrets don't expose all of you. Oh, she's come of age. Which is my daughter. She'll be... She'll do well in fighting. If she chooses to serve our country. Oh, really? So there is a crusade for the Kingdom of Lotharangia, and this uh, Sogdian has volunteered to join a crusade. Fine by me. Son of... Hmm. If only I had a hook on him, because I would love to... No, damn it! Because um, I would love to um, offer guardianship and raise it to be a Buddhist, which it will. Well, guess not. But, face reluctance. I know we're of this not the same faith, but. I guess swaying you would be the better option. There is time. Oh dear. She goes to brothels. Yep. Here's another son. <laughs> Praise Yamantaka. Is that related to Tengrism or Buddhism? What's that name? All babies cry, but with little canvas, there's no end to the tears. I desperately want the midwife to ease my worries, but her furrowed brow makes everything worse. The little lord's not getting away as should. You should take good care of him, my lord, but in the end, life's in Kama's hands. Hush now, Kevin, please don't cry. Sickly. Oh dear. But the, but the baby's robust, so should be alright. Chosen of Ashoka. Take care of a peasant revolt. Ah! Tajik and Muslims are still around. And there may be a peasant rabble coming up from Sonda. Right, these Rajputs are causing trouble again. It'll be my pleasure. <laughs> Due to me being shy, the text is different. There are a lot of people here. But you gotta do it for the prestige. What starts ordinary is kind of exceptional one thanks to the presence of Agvad Dunwood. Spoke all evening about all manner of subjects and as things would have it seen a lot of common. I had such a good time. What a good evening. For a shy person, I've been getting quite a bit of friends. Uh, what kind of meat is this? So rich and flavor. Well, uh, what are these vegetables? Almost sweet. And all these wonderful little desserts. This is based on some of the best food I've ever tasted. Delightful. Delightfully fun. So it makes you feel good. It makes me less stressful.
for it. Farewell, my vassal. I gain no stress because I'm shy with thanks to all these bonuses that help to reduce stress. Now I'm an eager rebel. Guess I'll go to these feasts more often. And because of that, celibacy is no longer an option. about to be finished. Existing development. Let me see. Increased development in county steward tasks suffers from diminishing returns. The more development a county already has, the more development growth penalty uh, development growth is penalized. By default counties reach the maximum existing Oh, development penalty at 10. Each era has an innovation which significantly increases this limit, going all the way up to 90 development late medieval era. That's why we're working on urbanization. We're just trying to increase it a little, despite the fact it's in the drylands. Now, I'm a prophet. You know, just in case it's a necessity, if, um, whatchamacallit, my dynasty has unlocked. Um, delegated authority. Another legacy. That's for law. Powerful vast, so opinion plus five. So that means now we're going to start picking, you know, all of these big benefits. And select a trait to be more common for your dynasty. Well, that's up to the dynasty head, not me. So yes, now we're getting to the real good stuff. I mean, look at our renown gain. 777 living members? That's a big family. Yep, oh, just one. Three emperors, eight kings, eight dukes, five counts, three kings by marriage, three dukes by marriage, eleven counts by marriage, one by marriage, and of course, famous rulers such as the King of Jerusalem, Emperor of Hispania, and the Band of Cornwall. Yes, Ban, because, you know, well, they're, they're Italians, but they were Croatians. Yes. In, in fact, was it ever introduced the Croatian culture to England? Is England still run by Croats? Yes. How they haven't turned Anglo-Saxon or introduced Croatian culture there is beyond me. Any British Croats watching? <laughs> Anyways, um... I struggle to make out the tiny letters on the scroll before me. I feel a headache building once again. Why do scribes insist on writing such small symbols? I squint and try again. Not to show a miracle with an aid of a stone of glass. Even old men struggling with bad eyesight could read with ease. I got money. I need one of these stones. What's good about theologian? More learning, more piety. Go back to the scholar, and also the increased development company. We care about development, so start working on this. I want to get this, so this, this, and this. Uh-huh. By claim. Ain't that something? Uh, and scholar. Yes, more development. As we said, Bactria must go back to its heyday. Hence the reason why we have fascination for urbanization. And I'm glad the realm's at peace. Also, it's almost time for the uh, Mystical Communion. A new leader, Kagan Temujin, has risen up, has risen up among the scattered tribes of the steppes and has declared himself the Genghis Khan, the ruler of the universe. With a vast tribal army, he has declared war for the overlordship of the entire steppe and then the entire world. Conquer the world? He's free to try this Temujin. Who is he? Well, one thing, he's ambitious, he's diligent, and callous. Sounds like my mother. He's a brilliant strategist, flexible leader, open terrain expert, and a master hunter. But he is the greatest of cons. Temujin has been proclaimed ruler of the universe by uh, itself by right of conquest. These stats look pretty intimidating. 
and he's not one for the patron of um, culture. And his prowess is without equal. Even the holy sites that he controls. As he is a Tengri. So, they consider us as evil. Unfortunately. He's got a lot of money. A lot of prestige. Strength is similar to ours. So he is... Declared a Mongol invasion of Mongolia against these two areas. Uh, this duchy and uh, the Buryat Khanate, which I recall my mother actually helped out um, the Buryats. So, any county occupied by the Mongols will lose a large portion of its development. Oh boy, I hope he doesn't come over here. So now that he appeared in uh, Kenti, he will fight them and them. So he wants Mongolia. And if he keeps growing, he may control all of Mongolia. But he's too far away from Mother Bactria. If he dares invade Bactria, we'll fight. As we said before, as vowed by my mother, Aldara, she says that that all men and women must be encouraged to take up arms to defend Bactria against any threat, and only advance when it's necessary. Now it's time for a mystical communion, as we were. So we get some more. There you go. More learning lifestyle and divine guidance. Next one will be in five years. Very, very useful to be a wise man in the Buddhist faith. Some people are just jealous of her. Yeah, I'm more interested in subjugating them whole, but can't get up there yet. And now plan cultivation. Not gonna accuse them. It's just a guest. God, ship focus. Thank you. Plant cultivation, that's for more of the effectiveness of it. There you go. You're doing very well. Oh boy. What's this? It's Rajputana. Rajputana war for Raja Jasapala's claim in the Duchy of Karpuyu. Well, it's her going to be spending prestige, but this I cannot decline because I'm going to need that prestige. There might be some good fighting. 6,000 of them versus 3,000 of them. Well, here comes us to the rescue. Rajputana's on the offensive to go north. Luckily, we're bordered right with them. Kashgar will be the, the place to be. Start here, not at the borderland. Luckily, we got a Hindustani woman who knows how to fight in a desert. But also, dryland. Hence the reason why there's the desert warrior trade has become common because we live in the drylands region. Deserts and oasis, that's what the Tarim Basin is like. What's home of the Tokarians? Which, well, I don't think they exist anymore. Are the Tokarians? They're extinct, unfortunately. Taken over by various cultures. Whereas we preserve the Sogdian culture. And we would love to get Makran to get the um, Astorleonese settlers back with us. And of course we would be bordering with um, Hispania. Which I'm sure my cousin ain't gonna like it. 
he's over in Kent, the air. Yipe. Okay, you launch. Head straight to Gotham. You may take some attrition along the way. And this here you will take Yawk. Station yourself there to guard against the enemy. And finally, this is the third army. So that's it. Where is the barony? Oh, over there. Watch the fire limit, but this is where you should be stationed. So, ready? Break. American football habit. Anything else to invest here? More! For more development growth. Granaries now. Granaries allow farmers to store grain, vegetables, and fruit for long periods. Of course, the farmers are happy to give. Uh, to give it all up for our soldiers, should they happen to march on through. More supply limit, more holding taxes, and more development growth. Bulk is not only going to be a well-developed county, but it's also going to be well-fertile as well. I am the new dynasty head. Temporarily. But he's going to be dying his head pretty soon. What? You're fighting against Byzantium? For Latium. Atalia asks for assistance from Hispania. That's what happened in, before he passed on. They were allies. It's their kin, you know. Atalia's ran by the Stulionese. But against all of Byzantium? That's a massive war in itself. But Byzantium is weak at the moment. Which I would love to take advantage of them by taking on this side of the Caspian. Caspian. Easy for me to say, but... If we try to fight against them, which we won't, because... We're in the middle of something here. Oh yeah, we do not have a physician, because I was the physician. My apologies. If anyone got sick and died, well, I am sorry. Because I can't be a physician always for me to take up the treatment. So, has said, 15 learning, the Ottoman, a eunuch. A eunuch who's married and has kids. Oh, okay, so, oh, he doesn't have any children. That's unfortunate. That's when he realized. It's not worth to have more children, and uh, he decides to, well, castrate himself, and intentionally castrated. So he chose this life, as the wife just looks on it, you know, look at the face, and just say, ah, Why do you do it? But, give me the other man. He's a physician and a holy warrior. Nice. Potential commander in the future. We're just here for assistance. An experienced fighter, you say? Well, I don't know about that. I mean, old age is going to be catching up to him, so... Probably not. We got very good numbers. Yeah, I figured. Um, I'll just bring him in anyway. So, Melindu, that's an odd name that you have. Hello. He is the head of my dance. Chevet. A genius. Okay. Think of an interesting name. Oh, 
I mean, I would name it after my ancestors, so I'm thinking, you know, where we came from. Again, I got a lot of children like these. So, how about Barshasp? Barshasp. That's how you say that name. We've occupied this territory. Okay. Where to? Because soon they're going to be taking the relevant objective that they want. While we're just taking down their capital. You know, ruining their day. Get ready to move. Move. It's just to bring the weapons in. Area. Next area. Move to there. It's Drylands. Head to here. Brilliant work. Got another place for you to convert west to Karistan. Because we can't get these people to work without a lot of money to spend to invest in this area. Now that city, you fool. Oh, I guess we need to upgrade those as well if we want to have access to more, you know, of the good kind. Of the good kind. Listen to yourself. Take it a relevant objective yet? The statue that you're after? Yes. Well, we'll take more of this area. Well, then, um. Uh, how about here? Disc. Step back. Speed up a little. Alright, she became a scholar, so therefore, more learning means faster. Faster progress. As I step over to the threshold of my court physician's office, I find him, find him bent deeply over a book. The translation of Hippocrates is atrocious, says her son. If I were to follow these instructions, I'm likely to cure my patients I am to kill them outright. No, well, Seneca was fine for the learning, if you wish to. Let me have a look. I help him learn in the translation, so therefore, scholarship progress increased. Return to Kashgar. Scholarly circles, learning per level of devotion. Now it's 46. About to become a devoted servant, which will have more learning. And more learning means faster progress, at the most. So, again, it's greatly increased speed of discovery at a rate depending on the learning of the current culture head, which is me for the Afghans. Because, you know, somebody's got to represent these people. And all about development. So in, two, in 1221, we will also officially enter into the, um, well, actually, uh, our fascination so fast, we'll, we'll get urbanization before we hit the late medieval era. But that's for average development of Afghan counties if we wanted to go faster. That's the reason why development in bulk.
Now you will go as far as up here. That's hostile. Oh, y'all have an occupied it? Okay, switch places. The system can siege. They just need to be resupplied before they can advance. More learning. Look at me now. The weakness that has plagued my son since his birth has finally released its hold on him. Relief washes over me as I see convicts running around with all the other children. May you grow to be strong, Hamid. Granaries are constructed, but just wait. I don't think we could build further than that. Oh, we could build even further. How far now? Just wait. <laughs> We're turning this land green. Really want to name her after my mother? I know child of concubine ain't gonna like it, but although she did have the strength, but not the intellect. I don't know. I'm just kind of well. Well, if that comely tree kind of makes up for being child of concubine, sure. Name after the founder of a dynasty. <laughs> now remember to save some money. It was we stated before, we're gonna turn that land green. With the baby curl arms, Toronto looks up at me in the face surprised serene. My love, let us name of Alfonso after you. Sure. Staring at stars. From all my evenings watching stars, I have seen my own eyes for what I only heard of before. The stars move at different speeds and reverse their course at different times, but seeming in large groups, depending on which celestial sphere they belong to. Indeed, with the right calculations, one could even predict their movement. Well, my mirage pro hit uh, does not approve. Of course, leave the skies be. The celestial realm is for the Sangha to know. Hmm. No, I will find my answer in the heavens. If you think it's impious, you are a content gentlewoman, you know? It's alright. About to finish this. Taraj puts her about to beat an enemy army. Also, begin your withdrawal. Since you are on your way back, um, get on down here. Unruly Rajputs. Musin? They took bulk. Guess it was a claimant war, wasn't it? Inherited. No, 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 you're looking at the wrong title, damn it. Makran. The, uh, duchy of Makran. Inherited. Must have been vassalized. 
Oh, and by the way, due to um, Hispania, you know, had a succession, therefore they left again. Hope they don't come back here. That means we can't subjugate um, Macron now. But Ari Buddhism is still predominant there. Oh no, Macron's still around. Holy War. Ah. That's what that was. It's not Aaron, it's a Holy War. Well, this is why I was trying to get up there, because I wanted to save them, but I guess we cannot. They're going to be destroyed. What do I get out of? Good. All forces, move south. Go deal with the little peasant rabble. Oh, actually. Well, wait till you're in friendly lines. I need to disband three of the armies except one. Whoever's the closest. Whoever reaches the border first. Looks like you're going to race. I know it's going to take months, but we don't expect to take up arms again anytime soon. We're more interested in development. What was I going to do with you? Convert? Your son? Yeah. You're the heir. I don't think he'll accept it. Okay, good. I don't know if there's time, but I'll give it a try. That's what I wanted to do originally. I could stop swaying him. At least those people with different faiths will look at us more positively. days now. Now we have urbanization. Urbanization reintroduced to the land of the Afghans. So that means uh, there'll be less uh, of the existing development penalty. Vice said, "Hot, uh, this party is boring. That Frank's got to be the worst host uh, the world's ever seen. How can a mortal man be expected to endure this snoring celebration of the alchemy? My eyes cast about the room, looking for a diversion, any diversion. Oh, Ruwa uh, Devi gives me a friendly way from nearby balcony. I got to do something to stop this evening bragging." Perhaps I get to know her a little better. Meanwhile, I have been studying the ancient religious texts and writing scholars. They all seem to agree that this age will end after 1,000 years. By my calculations, we're less than a century away. However, my Maharaj Purohit um, is getting, urges me to keep it to myself. Leave it to the Sangha and avoid panic. What if your calculations are wrong? I should consult with more Bekus. Thank you. Yeah. Friend of Rajputana. And she's a Buddhist too. Now my culture is fascinated by divine right innovation. Well, it seems Buddhism is taking over India now. And Hinduism has... Basically split north and south. While Jainism is retreated up to the uh, Tibetan areas. 
which they're all tiny little independent states. Oh, what to think, what to think, what to think, what to think. So he picked Divine Right for me, but we're about to reach it in five months' time. So I'm going to have that switched. Oh, I have forgotten about you. you I said I was going to get you married to somebody. Figuring somebody. What do you lack? Diplomacy. And you should marry somebody with good diplomacy at a reasonable age. Well, age actually kind of matters here more. No later than, you know. Hopefully there better be someone beautiful in this generation. If not, then oh well. Bingo. And I thought the Tokarian people are gone. But she is the Satrap of Murugate. Where? Oh, he doesn't hold any land, but he holds a duchy. Is it not a mercenary faction? Probably. Anyways. It's just a beautiful woman for once. Okay, now. Here. Granges and tight vines. Tide Barns acts as a place for farmers to put the portion of their produce that should befall the clergy. Of course, this also makes it easier for us to tax them. Again, this adds up more to supply limits, holding taxes, development growth, and less temple building construction costs, even though there's no room for it. Yeah, beyond that, we won't have, uh... Oh, dear. No, 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 wait. No, no, we don't have Crane's Innovation. That's for late medieval. So, th that's how we'll go as far as that. Then we're going to start working on all of this. Yes. 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 No. Okay. So, we're going to start working on pastoral lands after this. I'm the new dynasty head again. What the heck is going on over there? Again, we are too far away to interact with. We are separated from our ancestral home. Hispano used to help this part, and, and they left it. They won a crusade. Oh, another king for our dynasty. Maybe that's what happened. You decide to get rid of the relevant borders and created tiny little historically in these states that separated. But yet you still hold Iceland. Fine by me. As long as um, Hispania stays away from our affairs. No, child, you've got to be compassionate. If you want to be a proper Buddhist, you've got to be like the Buddha himself. Think of his teachings. I don't know how we're going to get you, but we will. Culture has joined the late medieval era. New innovations are available. How much? Claim the title. Gets an unpressed claim. Decreases the level of splendor. Instead of subjugating it whole, and but it'll but it's kind of separated. 
But if we want to fight against them... Who's the vassal of... Macron? Not quite. There's a tyranny war. Right. You know, have we not have much more important to do? Everybody knows. Thirty seven a month, because there's seven kings now. Stop! You're in the late medieval now. This is what we can get. Late medieval era buildings. Less siege time. Bombards. Which will be much more effective than the uh, trebuchets. 0.4 a day. Bombards is 0.6 a day. Effective up to fort level 30. That'll do good. And there's the cranes we mentioned, you know, for more building buildings and development. Speaking of which, that'll be for Renaissance thought. <laughs> but, first and foremost, we got to get primal geniture. We got 11 years. I am 63 and I'm feeling fine. And based on these health bonuses compared to what mother used to have, I think I may live up to 80, if I'm lucky. So, I'll be 74 when primogeniture law is available, where the oldest child gets to inherit everything. And then once the child inherits everything, then I will implement another law, which will be to our advantage. And as Dynasty Head, I can finally, you know, disinherit whoever that I do not want anymore, because there are there is a certain one of these children that should be the heir, based on their skills and education. Even though I'm not paying attention to most of them, admittedly. Raven. Then Thrush. Here's six. Curious. Diplomacy. Same. Shadow of Kabulistan. Oh yeah, the titles. But then again, I got to. We got to get to primal genitures quickly as we can. What the hell? This is what I get for doing it so fast. Man, you just want to ransom these people out of there, do you? And also, let's look real quick at the Mongol Empire. He's got levies, but there's plenty of special soldiers. Oh, defensive war. He let's just say when you take land, you are inheriting something that they want. So he will destroy them with ease. But we can take them on. We're similar. We just got to be clever. Should they ever come down here, fight against us in full force. So we'll check back on them. Also, go hunting and feasting because we're almost there. <laughs> More prestige. Welcome, friends. Oh, yeah, the mystical comedian's coming up pretty soon. The Stew Sea. In a drunken stumble, Agvat Sina unlatched a, an enormous cauldron in order the fireplace in the middle of Feast Hall. Savory broth well forth to cover half the room in the sea of stew. The unsuspecting beneficent sip sitting next to Hulkin was caught by the rushing wave and loudly cursed her ruined appearance and as grease ran down her face. Guests were rushed to the other side of the hall. A thick mass of 
spread greasy tendrils among skippy feet. Given in his terrible hunger, Satrap foil collapsed the floor, swallowing as much as he could of this meeting mess, while Agmar Borzorg watched in utter horror. Curse this mess! Damn it, man, you're costing me some prestige. I look forward to walking me all back. I have to pay up to clean this damn mess. We'll never swear, swear fealty to them. Because Bactria has ordered by the mother says defend it to the last. If they dare touch Bactria, we will fight back. Exiting the temple of Tayaban, me and my wife end up company of some local merchants. They are in the middle of a discussion regarding theology and the worldly wealth. I would invest in a temple, but how can I know if that's even uh, less of Anna's will? Where's that at exactly? Over here. In Buck. Our income is fine. There. House of Worship. It'll be my pleasure. More for stage for me, I hope. If not, then it's not. Learn on the job. 20% of the counselor's primary skills added to my own. And it just increased once again. Soon we'll have sanctioned loopholes, which will be about 23 months. That's nearly two years. So I can buy claims. So a spy claim allows Carter to buy unpressed claims in exchange for piety. Mm hmm. Okay. And after that, then in another two years, then we'll become a scholar means even more learning skill and uh, more development growth which is all I care about development 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 Hotharanga yeah. that crusade that occurred up there perhaps there was another crusade I missed out of I'm sure him and their vassals are just basically creeping their way. If they come down to Bactria, we'll be ready. Because we ain't afraid of what's to come. Sure. Eager Rebel. What I am. Anyways, 23 days, then we'll start investing in pastures. And yes, eventually it'll be for more development growth when we get up there. I have exposed a relationship. Oh boy. Loud crash resounds through the great halls. One of the doors to the service quarters break, and a barely called tumble. My vassal Agvad Firuz and my acquaintance Jahan spill out of the floor in front of everyone. To imagine that they had such a secret. But in this faith, it, it's okay. But what a feast. Mystical communion. I just remembered. This is for more learning. A forceful knock on the door clears every bit of drowsiness in my mind. Who disturbs a shard shard is out? My late night visitor is none other than such a but I'd speak of you privately, away from listening ears. I discovered something very interesting. Satrap Barat uncovers secret of Satrap Bagi. Yeah, old Bagi. Oh not different. I was thinking of your order. If you want to share with me if I let him off the hook? Well, I did save your ass.
Actually, I don't remember how I got strong. I was thinking the other guy. Okay. So I'll lose my loyalty hook on him. Can't modify him. What do you mean, modify him? He's married to the... You know what I mean? I, I swear, after this you owe me no longer. Disputed heritage. You're really judging her for her who smokes and is a leper. Alright. I come in with Sahara and... And now let's build up homesteads. Homesteads house peasant farmers who grow grain and keep animals for their own use. Really liking it. With the development growth that we have here. Looking good now. It's about as developed as Merv. Valk is going back to the grand old days. Grand old days. Ain't that a fancy saying. But you've got ten years. And I'm feeling fine. If I start feeling poor, I'm going to switch my focus to medicine. For a small health boost, just to keep me alive a few years. If you have better things to do, do those instead. Oh really, you're my guest. You know, you are the heir to the satrapy. But damn it boy, I'm trying to turn you Buddhist. I'm going to teach you how to be a Buddhist. An impatient isn't really good for you. Keep an eye on the Mongol Empire. Now where they're going. Mongol invasion of... Uh, of attacking... The, the... William, take a look at the Tengri holy sites. I guess that's what they're after. They already have Karakoram. Prowess per level of fame, plus one knight effectiveness, so they're gonna fight hard. At Tavad Borg, Prowess level it's one. Oh, yeah. And they do have this light cavalry damage, skirmisher damage. If they keep going east like that, um, I mean, they gotta go to Kerch and Prislav. Which, all I can say is good luck, because standing in your way is the Byzantine Empire should you continue eastward. Please do not go south. Because we have nearly 30,000 and okay, we're nearly on par. We'll use clever tactics against you. So, I will become a scholar very soon. I got my eye on you, Temujin. My mother worked very hard to create this grand empire. Though some would say it's not as grand as Hispania, but it appears so. Because we have more soldiers than they do. Homesteads is finished. Now, meadows. Meadows are used for both grazing and to produce hay for tougher times. I fear those tougher times may come ahead here. When do I get to go on a pilgrimage again? In two years. I was beginning to wonder. What? For keeps. Just in case. So we want the Valk region to be defendable as well. And it's also to add more buildings to continue with the Taxation, development, and all that good stuff. Check your children. I like guardians. Because it's been a while. Oh, he should go for Marshall. He may not have the smarts or the strength, but 
We need you to get more prowess education as well. And I know just a guy. Read educate. Not me. Uh uh. I'm not one with the sword. Should be Tehran. Parsas, my youngest for now and the smartest, also going for Marshal. I like what I'm seeing here. Afghan Muslim. Take care of that too. Man, it's taking an eternity and a half to get up there. That level of fame. We need more Swaran in preparation for the possible Mongol invasion of Bactria if they continue to go southwards. But right now they're fighting against them. Cathar Tajik. Cathar's still around here? Oh, and he's possessed. Good reason. Well, they just finished their war. So now they're just adding up more and more levies. Now they're going somewhere else. Taking it up central. Perhaps they want to form... Well, they did form the Mongol Empire over there. Keep it up like that, they may also form Siberian Empire as well. Look at our income. It's without equal. Unless it's Byzantine Empire. Where do we go? Why not? When they're not at war, their income is 30. And they're the lar considered the largest country in the world. And yet, we have better taxes here because of the domain due to various bonuses, including here in bulk, which we're investing in more than any other area. Which I'll do the same for the others, if we ever have time and money. And would love to live long enough to see primogeniture become a thing. And may also change another succession law. Besides primogeniture, but also perhaps switch it back to equal. I may be considering um, introducing elective because I got so many good children but only one can rule now the Mirage photo hit has become a famous and highly respected figure amongst the Buddhists for her honesty no lies too small no truth too uncomfortable for this pious woman whose example is inspiring countless more faithful every day Sort of. But is she doing it for Siddhartha or for fame? The cynical me asks. Well, I'm gonna need you to be a Buddhist. Mm -mm. And I ain't got no hook on him. I would. That thing just disappeared. I saw it appeared and it just disappeared. Well, we're about to pick up another thing. Plus one domain limb won't hurt, but I think inherited tactics is what I'm going to go for. Knowing that in a, in a month's time, we're about to pick it up. Oh, I forgot to pick up you two. Whoa. Except he's delicate. He may be a great fighting giant, but one hit and it's gonna hurt him. One second. Now, Coops. Uh, Coops house and easy to keep all. Prize for its both eggs and meat. And this is where development growth starts. Now, inherited tactics. Advantage plus five in every one of the members of the dynasty. Because we 
want every vent we're getting. Case the Mongols come down the back trail. How am I feeling? Fine still, at 66. And I'm about to become a scholar. Outlived my rival. And gained some prestige for that. So if we can't subjugate Makran, because that would be too little to care. So we may have to go somewhere else to subjugate. I recognize the anxious look on my servant's face. She's here to bring me bad news. My lord, you must come quickly. Argvad Gozel of Rostak was just seen leaving the chambers of his spy master. That can only mean one thing. It's a secret. Almost sexual? Bisexual. Aha. And this is where I'll pick up the learning. More than anything, my quest to be a learned man teach me how much do I not yet know? What? More, there is so much knowledge that has been lost to the ages. Books fall apart or languages forgotten. Perhaps I could contribute by making a translation to one of the classic works. How about a text from the... No, no, no. Don't you know I'm cynical? Just say Cicero's rhetoric lessons from the oratory. Translating book. That's what I'm doing. Translating it to the Afghan language. Pashtu. And now I am a scholar. So that's learning plus five. And uh, development growth plus 15. Just to keep it up with the development here in bulk. As we're about to reach the maximum development growth. Yeah, we're going to have to put a stop to that once it reaches 100, unfortunately. But that's the way it's going to be. And use that just for more construction for more development. Anyways, the constant effort to translate the De Oratore is tiring. The relentless focus, understanding, and creativity requires required drains as I move ever closer to its completion. Bye. What is this for? Ah, peasant revolt, which reminds me. Anyway, so um, I must seclude myself from all the other distractions until this is done. It's for more prestige, but no, 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 we're about to get it soon. So, just a few more pages tonight, and a few more in the evening. All right, we'll go on a pilgrimage this coming spring, saving my money for that. Depending on how much this next structure is going to cost me. 400. Oof. A specific phrase from the oratory has been frustrating my translating effort for days. You would start muttering to myself. Still struggling with that one, aren't you? I have my rat for it. Uh, I have to wait, to wait the old tone. One simply needs to know where to look. Uh, help me uncover this. Guest and ward, she's still not a Buddhist. Well, you still be diligent. Diligence, all right, in my book. My mother was diligent. My extremely high learning, um, so it's going to be seven years' time. Remember, only switch to medicine focus when my health starts becoming poor. And now, livestock pens. They are sturdy enough to keep large animals contained and secure. More development growth. Which, uh. Oh, excuse me, um. I must have missed. Yeah, the existing development. Penalty. Eater increases the limit. So yes, uh, we're trying to get up to the uh, development to um, 55. That's what we're doing. 
After all my lectures, all my sheer wisdom, my ward man has finally embraced the true faith. I always knew he would make a good little crown Rayana one day. Brahma guided my hand. There you go, the heir is a Buddhist. And now I can do a subjugation war. Which, don't wait too long. I'm having notes for my translation. I'll read back to me when... My lord, please forgive me. What, did you fall asleep? Heavens above, this classic is an absolute drivel. I was about to say piece of something, but... <laughs> Nevertheless, I will force myself through it. If I sit harder, I will get this done. 30, 30. Now we rival Merv for most development. It's like, uh-uh. Balk is where the real place is going to be. We're going to get it up to 55. It's going to rival development to most of the Indian lands. Baghdad, Constantinople, Rome, and our ancestral home of Cordoba. Well, technically, I was the first person to be easy for me. The first person to be born and raised here, not in Spain, like my mother. Now I must go on a pilgrimage. I've been to Gaia. Now let's go to Varanasi. This is the place where the Buddha held his first sermon, and it's right next to the uh, holy site for the Hindus. Varanasi. We're going to be going to Sona. And at the park. This is just to end the episode on that note. Lost. I could have sworn that this was supposed to be the path onwards. None of my companions or I have managed to find our way back to the pilgrimage run. Are we even looking at the right stars at night? Feels like I've been wasting weeks. We must find a guy, no matter the cost. Out here late at night, sometimes I look to the stars I wonder. Can the Samsara even see me? I'm this far from home? What am I always doing this for? Let me see. Diplomacy. Pi. What I truly want to see is foreign lands. India, in particular. Since we're going that way. I'm finally here, body and soul, at the great temple of Varanasi, or Sarnath, the Buddhist holy site, right next door. As the beck over me, blessings are flecked on everything that happened for the Samsara to bring me at this moment of time. A whole lot of walking. What's important is that I am seen and heard here. I will absorb the lessons and become a mystic. And as a mystic, that's plus two learning. And my translation is complete. My words re rest on beautifully illuminated pages, all protected by a lavish cover, as befits of the work's importance. Tom's taken a pride of place in my library. The every Beko who reads it is mildly impressed by my efforts. Some are already speaking and making copies of their own. This effort has taught me so much. Well, the only logical thing now is go to, um, theologian. Hell, I may become a theologian at the end of it, too, for even more learning and piety. Because I know I'm expected to live up to 80 at least, like my mother. So it's entirely possible. <laughs> the world's most learned man is a Buddhist and a king of kings of Bactria. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we end um, Bactria on a huh, almost, um, you know, we almost had no wars. It was just only one intervention. But it, the focus of the episode was mainly on development and bulk. And the development will continue. As we will continue to invest the money building this structure and this next. And, and we'll only go as far as that one until we get cranes. As the development continues to increase and increase. So we're turning the dry lens around bulk into full of green and full of wealth. 
look at the taxes. And if anybody dares to attack Bulk, capital of Bactria, the loot would be huge should they succeed. And we dare any enemy to attack the wealth of Bactria now. And I'm looking at you up there. You and your mighty horde. You got your horse archers now. So now it's going to take out what's left of Bariatia. And so, ladies and gentlemen, we'll continue to develop Bactria and be wealthy. And hopefully get the primogeniture. And watch what the Mongol Empire is doing. And where they're going to be going is going to be answered in the next episode. But until then, so long for now.